Hey, so I'm back already. I gave up yesterday. And I'm back already. What did I say about serendipity? Was I making it up? Who believes I was making it up? I... The only thing I'd heard about July 17th, 2019, before yesterday, was a video of Steve Fletcher, I've been watching Steve Fletcher, saying July 17th isn't the date. And I didn't even look at it, because I'd been watching him as he had been setting dates up until May and that. And, you know... I didn't think he made as as much as he should have done about the date he set May 14th. Uh, May 14th came and went and he just kind of went on and set a new date. Um, whereas I think he should have been waiting and looking at things that might have been happening on that day. And, you know, just because we might wake up on the next day and, you know, the world's still here doesn't mean nothing's happened. So, I've never been a rapture person. I've never been someone who thinks that we're going to get sucked off the planet while everybody else suffers tremendously. That, to me, is not God's plan. You know, I've been waiting to see God's plan unfold and how God would work and the timing of it all and everything. You know, and today, I'm feeling... I'm going to use that word that everyone's using, blessed, definitely. I'm feeling this blessed feeling, just watching how God operates. So there's these, Pearl and Christine, is it, or Crystal, uh, who have, two women who have had this date come to them through completely different ways. And they've got, but basically God has shown them. Um, and then you've got this other lady, girl, woman, um, who's sort of been involved. And, and another woman connected with her, her as well. Um, so there may be more coming out, but I've been watching videos on all four of these and um, I really like them you know I really I really feel that they are being sincere that um, you know that they they are getting messages from God they are connecting to God I'm I'm absolutely sure of that um, you know because of having done it myself I know the sort of reactions you you make and also because of my understanding of how the deeper we are on the soul men and women are, are different I can also see how you know they have how can I see it but I sense it that their way of knowing things is different to a man's way of knowing things. And I just think it's so marvellous. Right, what I want to say in this video is what I think will happen at the rapture, at this uh, 17th of July. Why that date is so set and why this is God's plan and it's not the end of the world you know that's really not what we want you know it wouldn't take an, a very clever God to just you know suck what you consider the good people off and let leave the rest to burn you know that's hardly a God that a good loving God would do that sort of thing. <clears throat> so I think in terms of rapture, um, sun's just going in. Does that mean anything? I don't know. Carry on anyway. In terms of the rapture, 
I think one of them put it Twilight, um, Rapture at Twilight, but it is possible that um, the Rapture is like a, you know, we'll be healed of our issues, that sort of thing. So this is what I really think is going to happen. I think energies are going to be coming down, like we kind of felt a bit last year when you had the Alison Coe lot and there were energies like coming down and when I've sensed you know like what I thought the end of the world might feel like before it's very much like you know do we go up into the clouds or do the clouds sort of come to us what are the clouds? It's quite difficult to describe, but I have this feeling like, well, let's say if everything, all the atoms and the walls and everything disappeared in a sense, so you couldn't see anything, it was all like misty and bubbly, like that sort of thing starts happening. And the reason why we've had warnings and been warned about this time, this day, is that, you know, if your heart's not ready, you know, it could fail. If you've had absolutely no preparation for this whatsoever, if it comes just totally out of the blue, you know, you might not, you might not be able to take it. And the more sort of repenting that you may have done and forgiving of others and, you know, the more you've tried to be more loving or, right, the more, the more you're going to feel like you do deserve to go through this. Now I can quite possibly see happening is that Lots of people feel something, and some people feel nothing. And the next day comes, and most of the world go on about their day as nothing's happened, and maybe they never even heard anything. But that other people are going to be different after that day. And they're going to know... They're going to know what their purpose is. And, you know, there's still going to be a next day and a next day and a next day. And looking at one of the, uh, Crystal or Christine, looking at her timeline, you know, that July 17th is the beginning of the day of the Lord. So that to me makes a lot more sense. Like to me, it feels like, yeah, we've been through seven years of hard shit, but not everybody has. A lot of people have just carried on living normally, but there's a heck of a lot of people who've had struggles, like how things feel inside. For me, like seven years ago or less, you know, when I was first sort of getting into my soul, it, it felt like, you know, we were on the brink of failure. Like, you know, that was how I felt. I'm not saying that's how it was, it's how I felt. And through whatever I was doing, you know, I've made videos about it, but I got to a point where I thought, no, we're okay now. We are past the worst. We are on our way up. Things are going to get better. Good things are going to happen. And I've that has been my message for... Um, since, like, middle of 2016. So... I think, yeah, but that was the, the, I feel like that was the, the bottom point, sort of Brexit, after Brexit was when we're starting to come up, but you know, like very slowly. <coughs> so if July 17th, July 18th comes and now we're in the day of the Lord and many people on this planet have had a, have had their sort of judgment 
from God. God has looked into them and they've been aware of it and they survive and from that day forth they are God's warriors, <laughs> whatever. And we're going to be in the day of the Lord and things are going to be God's way. God's kingdom will be here and there will be a restoration that takes time. Maybe a few years, maybe a year. But what I do know is that until yesterday, I was, I didn't know what was going on. You know, I just had myself to work on, me and my relationship with God and my soulmate, you know. I was kind of, I wasn't particularly enthusiastic about anything on YouTube or that, you know, I was, I was wondering where are the women, you know, where's, where's Alison Coe, where's, um, Alana Green and, and, um, some other YouTubers have done stuff and then gone away and so, you know, I would, I hadn't been for, for ages. I hadn't there hadn't been anything that was sort of getting me even a bit excited so that I wanted to stay up late. Like didn't even want to, you know, I was getting to sort of half 11 to I think I want to go to bed, you know. That that's not been normal for me in my life. Like usually there have been something I'm into, you know. Um I mean, that's partly other reasons as well, like, because I've got to get up and get my son to school in the morning these days. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's no option of a line, but still, I would still be more enthusiastic about stuff. <coughs> yeah, because I think yesterday, so I was uploading my video saying I give up if this doesn't go viral. And it's not going viral, so that's not why I'm doing another one. And um, and I think I saw a video of, and I thought, well, mine takes ages to upload, so I thought I'll watch something while it's uploading. And I just saw, I think I saw this video of this someone against these people calling for July 17th as the rapture date. Saying that you know, saying they're wrong and stuff like that, and no one knows that you know they're making a big crime um, because no one knows the day or that the hour, and that is scripture. And I wrote a comment on the video, sort of saying, "Well, there are worse things you could do, and plus, the word of God is truth, not the Bible." Um, so then I. So then I clicked on to one of these, to, so it was a so the first video I saw was one against these people. So then I look, you know, and there was a video of a, a woman. I think it was Pearl. It, Pearl was the first one I looked at. And yeah, it just switched while I was uploading the video saying I'm giving up serendipity or what so for me that brings that, that kind you know that kind of involves me as far as I'm concerned I'm involved now there was only two days to go until the actual day <coughs> and I was first sort of thinking shall I you know it's only two days away What's is there really much point in me commenting on this? And uh, sorry. So then I thought about not commenting, and not doing a video, saying you know what I feel. But then I could see the feeling was just going to stay there. It was just telling me, you know. You are basically, you know, you've you've warned about all these other things. It has been part of your role is to to say something at least, right? So yeah, I had to. So I did a quick video. Um, 
saying that I've my feeling on this is yes. My feeling is yes. And I've had a few more confirmations. I've been watching some more of their videos. Those three and um, four. Really good. Really good stuff. Definitely. Like, um, I'm sure that we'll still be able to watch videos on the 18th. But the significance is that God is executing his, her plan and revealing a date to women is going to be significant because women have been subjugated and the Bible has been a huge reason for that. Blaming Eve right in the beginning has carried on and women blame women blame to the point where you've got uh, Christian women today who feel they should be you know subjugated still and that the you know the man should dictate and you know it's not you see it in these women they um, they've lost their their brightness and you know it's certainly not their purpose to be subjugated Sun's gone in again. <laughs> I don't know if it means anything. But it does change the light on the video, I know that. Right. So. Anything else to say, really, is just, you know, in preparation for the rapture, you let God see everything in you. You. That was. That was how I experienced my first judgment when I was about 19. I knew God. It was just like... Whatever I was thinking about, whatever, but within a blink of an eye, everything was open in me, and I knew it. Everything was exposed, and, and God was right there. And it was... You know, I couldn't see anything, but I could feel it. And so I knew, you know, it was just, and it, while that point, while, and it was like the bad bits were first, and while those bad bits were just exposed and opened, like all could be seen at the same time, and I knew nothing was hid, that was, it was all there. A feeling, and, you know, that, and then that feeling was, you know, like, because of these bad things, do I deserve to exist, in a sense? That's, you know, the feeling in the heart. And then, however much time went past, whether it was seconds or minutes, then you remember you've got good bits too. And that, you know, you are deserving <laughs> to exist. You do, you've got good bits too. And, um... So any preparation you want to do for that would be to look inside and uh, have some idea, you know, what's what's going to be exposed. And um, yeah, so and so it's quite possible to me that for many people this won't be part of their reality, but for many people this is very much part of your reality and maybe it will affect the whole world I don't know you know I can't imagine something that massive and I just think I'm learning about the way God operates you know God isn't God isn't interested in it trending or you know getting on the front pages of the newspaper you know, that's their world, right? Our, your world, the real world, God's world, the one that's going to be eternal, not the one that's going to be long forgotten, that's the important one. That's what God's concerned with. So... This is really good. This is lovely. Thank you, God.
Thanks.